Welcome to my project bazaar.com. Let us discuss about the product on robotic disease detection in greenhouse combined detection of powdery mildew and tomato spotted wilt virus. Let us discuss about the abstract hierarchical classifier is a classifier that maps the input data into defined summative output categories. The classification occurs first on a low level with highly specific pieces of input data. Classifications of the individual pieces of, the, of data are then combined systematically and classified on higher level iteratively until one output is produced. This is the final output is overall classification of the uh, overall classification of the data. Depending on the application specific details, the this output can be one set, one of the set of predefined outputs, one of a set of online learned outputs or even a novel classification that has not been before. Generally such system rely really on relatively simple individual unit of the hierarchy that only one universal function to do classification. In a sense, this, these machines rely on a power of hierarchical structure itself instead of computational abilities of the individual components. Disease detection monitoring can facilitate target, targeted and timely control which can lead to increased yield, improved quality and massive reduction in the quantity of applied pesticides. The, these in turn can lead to reduced production costs, reduced exposure to the pesticides of farm workers and inspectors and increased sustainability. Bottom up approach is developed to achieve hierarchical learning of more discriminative tree classifiers over the visual tree. For giving parent note, it contains set of sibling scores, gain categories of plant species or sibling find fine trained plant species. Multitask structural learning algorithm is developed to train their interrelated classifier jointly to enhance their discriminative power. A hierarchical multitask structural learning algorithm is developed to train more discriminative tree classifier over the visual tree and identify new plant species effectively. It is worth emphasizing that our visual tree has provided a good environment to identify the interrelated learning tasks automatically. The proposed algorithms can be achieve very competitive results on both identification accuracy and computational efficiency as compared with other existing approaches. Let us discuss about the flow diagram of the product. Input image is taken from the data set. Using one single type of visual features is incapable of separating large number of plant spaces effectively. Different plant spaces may have significantly different visual properties and they can be separated more effectively from other plant spaces by using their principal visual properties. Thus, four types of visual features are extracted from plant of interest for plant image representation that is color, texture, space, shape and structure. Next, we pre-processing the image. Filtering, here we use filtering as a pre-process. A Gaussian blur, also known as Gaussian smoothing is a result of blurring an image by Gaussian function. It is a widely used effective in graphic software. Typically, typically to reduce image noise and reduce detail. The visual effect of this blurring technique is a smooth blur resembling that of viewing the image through a translucent screen. Gaussian smoothing is a also used as pre-processing stage in computer vision algorithm in order to enhance the image structure at different scales. Mm, different scale space representation. This is also a two-dimensional vasters transform. 
by contrast converting by a circle would more accurately reproduce the effect since the Fourier transform of the Gaussian is another Gaussian applying a Gaussian blur has an effect of reducing image high frequency component Gaussian blur is thus a low pass filter then saliency salience, salience detection for segmentation the salience also called saliency of an item be it an object a person a pixel etc is the state or quality by which it stands out relative to its neighbors saliency detection is considered to be a key attentional mechanism that facilitates the learning and survival by enabling organization organization to focus their limit perspectual and cognitive resources on the most pertinent subset of the available sensory data saliency detection is often studied in the context of visual system but similar mechanism operate in other sensory system what is silent can be influenced by training for example human subjects particular letters can become salient by training class next we cluster using graph cut segmentation a hierarchical plan species clustering algorithm is developed for visual tree construction and it contains three key components one is calculating their inter species visual similarities selecting the most discriminative feature subset for the current node partitioning the plant species for current node c according to their interspaces interspaces visual similarities under the selected future subset next is future extra extraction future extraction separating the plants of interest from the complex backgrounds plays a critical role in extracting more discriminative visual features to achieve more and accurate identification our approach is for extracting the plants of interest key points two components determining the sizes and locations of the bounding boxes of the plants interest in the images using the graph cut algorithm to extract the plants of the interest within the determined bounding boxes next we use the classification the computational cost for generating hierarchical binary classification tree comes from two parts determining the optimal binary classifier for all the nodes training the binary classifier for all the nodes then uh, using the test and train feature we recognize the output let us discuss about the running procedure of the product for executing the product on the main file and select an image from the data set figure 1 is input image figure 1 shows that input image figure 2 shows the pre-processed image and figure 3 shows the cluster index of the image figure 11 12 and 3 13 shows the objects of the clusters these images are all related to our flow diagram Three. this is figure 2 figure 3 and figure 11 figure 12 figure 13 Here is it is processing the it is finding the corners computation of Laplace transform and characteristics calculating characteristic scale this process of here is the process of the images running both here is the process of finding corners lapis normalization for each and every image is running and then we finally get the output as a plant finding the plant image Norway maple leaf scan box map box 
this is the final output this shows the final output thank you for listening